Goose it when it's flat and level, coming away from me. All right, welcome back, y'all. Here we go. We have the beautiful Freewing F86, um, the Friday plane, whatever you want to call this one. Wasn't the best for me, but uh, amazing flyer. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. So how are we going to do that? Of course, with the best afterburner you can get, the Guniac 33 Fiery Booty. Links will be down below in the description. Get a hold of them, get one custom built. They're amazing. So here's what it looks like uninstalled. This goes onto the motor. You got your wires, has connections so you can uh, route it easily. It's got the little controller deal. Wire it into your throttle or you can plug it into a separate channel if you have enough channels and uh, mix it you know, your own way. And then it goes into the balance tab. Uh, in my case, a six volt battery, or sorry, six cell battery. Uh, I would assume it runs off 12 volts, but uh, anyway, he's got it figured out for you so you don't have to worry about that. So here's what comes with the kit, and next up we'll show you how it goes into the bird. So in order to reach the fan on this model, you have to remove the wing. It's just the four screws here, a couple electrical connections, so that'll pop off, and then we'll have easy access to the motor where we can put that on. All right, easy as that. Now there's just four screws holding this motor in, and then somewhere there'll be the electrical connections for the ESC. So I'll probably mark those so I get it hooked up right the first time, and uh, we'll pull that out, and then we'll go from there. Well, looks like the wires are up top. Somewhere. Where are they? Hmm. They're hidden somewhere. I'm not sure where they're at. Not sure where the connections are. It looks like I'll probably have to take the ESC loose and slide it back so that they'll full, pull out the bottom enough. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now would be a good time to relo relocate the ESC. Some people do that so you can get your battery back far enough. Because when the battery's in there, it's pretty much sitting on there, right? See if that'll pull through the bottom now. And just right, just right there. I can just see them now. Okay, I'll mark those and then I'll disconnect them so I know which way they go back together. All right, there we've got it out. Piece of cake. So what you're going to do now is feed the wires through here. If I can do this for the video, and then this is going to go on the back of the motor like so. So what you're going to do is put some glue on it and then put a zip tie around it and clamp that sucker in place and then we're going to go to the back to the install. It's really that simple. A little foam safe CA around the edges here. I did use a tiny bit of sandpaper and put it on there around the edge of the motor there so it'll give it a little something to stick to. Keep these flat so they come through that slot good and just kind of get her on there. Okay, not going to kick it yet. We're going to get that zip tie around here. I'll just kind of situate you guys here, just kind of hold it up against myself here and tighten it up a little bit. Oh, that's better. Well, now we'll let that make sure it's straight, then we'll let that uh, glue kick, and uh, then it'll be ready for install. 
Okay, done deal. It's on there. I put some kicker on it. That's why it's kind of shiny, but and I put some more glue around there just to make sure that sucker's never coming off. But that's really it. It's that simple. Now we're just going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so a little tip for getting the wires, because you got to get the wires up through here, right, for that um, controls. So if you guys have ever done, like I got one of these from the Freewing F16, and I don't know, I've got a couple of these things around for pulling wires through, but keep them. This is where they're useful. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shove it through there, and this is going to pull my fiery booty wire back through. So these things are useful forever. Feel in there when it comes out. There it is. I mean, there's other ways to do it, sure. You could use a piece of solder. I've done that in some giant scale airplanes, but not much is easier than a piece of wire you already got with a loop on the end, right? Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see this without my arms and everything being in the way, but uh, we're gonna try. I'm just gonna set this down in there somehow. First thing I'll do is try to get this pulled through with the wire. See if I can hook it on there. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. Where's my wire? Where's my wire? Oh, it's gonna, I'll get, make sure you want to keep your your other wires up here. You don't want to lose your ESC wires. Hold on to them and pull that fiery booty wire through. Okay, so that's through the bottom. That part is done. Now we'll just hook these color-coded wires back up and we'll be good. Yeller to yeller. White to white. And the last one to the red and that's, that's pretty much it. Stick her back in place. Okay, one little tip to make sure everything goes in there easy is put a couple zip ties perhaps on this. That'll make sure it stays in that channel. So make sure your wires are in place and then you're good to go. All right, with all the wires routed up top, I put the wing back on and plugged all the fittings in for it and all the lines. So hopefully they went in the channels pretty good. They're pretty short. This one's kind of a pain in the butt to do, but uh, Flip it over here and I'll show you what I did. So I wound up the cord for the fiery booty and stuck it up top here. And all the other wires are kind of in this little abyss here. And I've got the Y coming from the controller, which is here, wired into the throttle. So here's the throttle from the ESC. And then down here is the controller. And then you've got your balance tap here. And I just kind of shoved the controller and everything um, between the ESC and this wall underneath the receiver here. The receiver antennas go back here, so not a big deal. Um, but you did add something new electrical, so make sure you do you know, your part and do a good range check. Make sure everything's kosher. Check your control surfaces. Do your pre-flight. So it's wired into the throttle. It's done. It's ready to go. So I just... Uh, Need to get a day when it's not raining up here in the PNW to get this bad boy out to the field for flight two. If you guys watched my uh, flight one video, it was only two minutes long because the canopy blew off in flight. Um, pretty good video, but um, I was pretty stoked with how it flew then. So I'm stoked for how it's going to fly now with some added, you know, eye candy in the back. So um, when we come back, we'll be at the field. Hopefully tomorrow. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to do a nice evening flight. I've um, got my SMC 5200s in there. We've got the Guniac Fiery Booty. Um, let's do it. We're going to fly it off grass. It's got pretty small wheels and tires for that, but I just did a check and it, it got her. So don't forget to chuck, plug in your afterburner. Otherwise it ain't going to work for you. So that's it. Straps gotta go forward. That's the only problem with this bird. Is gotta it's, make sure you know where the strap is on. It's really fussy with where this thing is. And I even carved out the bottom to get more clearance because 
If you guys watch my, was it the maiden flight, I think? Yep. This blew off and we found it back. There you go, that's a positive lock. All right, let's do it. Kick the tires and light the fires, as they say. All right, guys, here we go. We are lined up. Thrall kill is off, half flaps. Hammer time. Good looking bird. I'll try not to go back here anymore. That fiery booty shine, even in the bright light, you can see it very clear. Bug on my arm. Goose it when it's flat and level, coming away from me. Turn it away. Yeah. yeah, when you go up, I can't see it. Laps, turn around here, do a slow flyby. Point the tail at you or show you that fiery booty up close. <laughs> you blew that up my skirt, dude. <laughs> what a cool airplane. It's not the fastest, but just something about scale jets. The presence just, was nice. Just cool. It just looks cool. Okay, let's check that battery. I know it's going to be good. Uh, what are we at here? So, whoop, three minute timer. See, good thing I had a throttle kill there. We'll take timer reset. We're at three minute, 22 second flight. Um, I've tested in like my twin MIG. Having a, a fiery booty doesn't take any more battery. Um, you can check those videos out for proof on that. That was a wild flight, by the way. 37%. I was in the throttle quite a bit here. So, I mean, still way above safe zone. So, Shout out to good batteries. So like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below in the description. Check out the Guniac if you need a sweet afterburner, fiery booty for your bird.
and GB Lens RC, John VHRC out.